Hello guys, and welcome back to my Minecraft FTB series of the Ultimate Pack. Just in the nether, I've collected some glowstone, and... Well, I did collect some glowstone. Oh, yeah, it's in my miner's backpack. I wonder where the hell it went then. <laughs> we're gonna get worried. Um, we're gonna... This episode's gonna be split into, like, two parts. Um, this part, uh, the first part's just gonna be me looking around in the nether, see what I can find, um, be wary of pigmen and ores. Just to see what kind of stuff spawns here, and see what kind of spawn we've got. And then the second part is going to be uh, more to do with getting some power. And I'll explain that when we get to that point. But for now, um, I'm going to try and head down to the bottom here. And uh, yeah. See what's cooking. Well, hopefully not me anyway. <laughs> Somewhere else. Ow! What the? Just stupid bat. Ow! That sucks. Good thing he can't push you off the damn edge, that would have just really sucked in half. Wow, um... I'm going to put a torch there, just so I know where the way up is. Um... I'll head down this way. What's the... oh no, it's just the, uh... Lava doing a spiral down here. Where's it go to? Right, so we go right down to the bottom there, but don't want to go that way. Just for the fact of it's a dead end, more or less. And I can't really trunch through lava at the moment. Um... There we go. Up we go. We'll go around this way. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, damn it. I thought I spotted something really interesting then, but I didn't. Um. Well, we'll get over this slow sand. Oh. Right. Um, just keep putting torches down. There's a magma cube there. Hello, I see you. Die. Pesky little thing. Torch. Oh, there we go. Never fortress. Woo! Sweet. Let me run over there. Oh, I'm stuck. There's a big magma cube over there. It's probably his little brother, or big brother, shall I say. Let's put the torch down. Some mushrooms. I mean, you know what? I'm going to kill the magma cube, and then I'm going to then go about killing it. I haven't explained. Never fortress. Come here, you. There we go. Boom. How convenient. Ow. Can't jump up. Yeah, there we go. Then again, no, no fortress, just remember, not really worth exploring um, in this version. Uh, well, yeah. Well, they are, they are, but you know what I mean. Um, let's have a look around this way. Uh, dead end. We'll go back this way. There's some glowstone there I can just mine and harvest quite quickly. Um, Oh, is that gold ore? Is there any pigmen around? There is one or two. Is this gold stone? Is it gold? It must be gold. It's gotta be gold. Looks like gold. I've gotta check this. I wanna make sure if it is actually gold. Ah, oh, right, no, it's pyrite. Looks like gold. It's not gold. Damn it. Can be misled. Um, head this way. I think there's a spawner there. Oh, there's coal. Is that coal? Oh, I want to light up this area. Yeah, there's a light spawner there. Oh god. That was quick. Ah! No! Oh, bugger. Ow. Go away. I need to eat. Where the hell's my food? There's no health. There's nothing else at least, so we can just get heading this way. Um, oh, hello. What's that? Right, um, there's no pigmen around. There's another spawner up here, by the looks of it. There's a glowstone. There's a mushroom on a glowstone. Ah! No. Leave me alone. No. Don't like you. You're horrible. Um, No, I'm going that way. That sounds horrible. Uh, we'll head back this way. Just head uh, this way. Uh, okay. I think, if, if I'm, my memory serves me correctly, the stuff that's spawning in the Never is called Never Ore, and it's just by, well, the Never Ore's mod, and it spawns vanilla ore in the Never. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it just works the exact same as regular 
Also, in the top layers you'll find coal and stuff like that, and in the bottom layers you'll find... Oh! Nope. Not, not doing it. <laughs> I'm off back this way. Um, you'll find, you know, you, you stand stuff in the top layer and all that, so... So let's grab some of this. Break my way through and I collect this on the way back. There we go. Looks like a charm. Oh, hello. Ooh, they do look nice. Um, that goes up actually. Right. So we know where a never fortress is, so we can actually label that down. I think the next thing I want to do is head down towards the um, bottom and see if I can find some different kind of ores. Because I thought that were gold, but I was misled. Uh, I feel kind of stupid now as well. Uh, let's have a look. This looks like it goes down that way now. Oh, best not. Better stick the open, because I probably will get lost if I actually uh, don't do that. Let's just head this way. That's a massive cave. Yeah, yeah. That's quite... Uh, yeah, we'll head this way. Uh, back out. I'll put a waypoint down at some point for that, but for now, I'm not going to bother. Um, right. Oh, hello. You've got a nice shiny sword there. I wouldn't want to start with you in a fight. I can tell that for sure. Let's have a look. Right, so I came from over that direction. Uh, I'm going to head down this way. Let's see what else we've got. There's just loads of different kinds of stuff stuff spawning everywhere. Let's head down. Uh, nope. What else we got? Do, do, do. Is there anything worth exploring? Mm, doesn't seem to be. Pigmen everywhere. Um. Hmm. Okay. So, oh, what's that? That looks like nickel, um, or nickelite, as you can call it. I'm going to head over that way, see what's down there. Yes, yeah, the last little bit before I actually head back. Um, I think I'm going to have to call it there for that. Doesn't seem to be anything worthwhile to uh, see. Quite extensive, some of this stuff. Ah, there's more. What a coal, I think that is. Um, is that? That's copper. There's these pigmen round. Uh, ooh, what's down there? Oh, there's some more. That looks like gold. Um, I think then there's a pigmen round, so let's just... Uh, Yeah, there's three pigmen. I can't mine that. Damn it. I probably could, but uh you know, in my luck I got pushed in the lava. Hmm. Huh? Right, so that's the bit of exploring we've done. There's some more ores all over the place. Uh, unfortunately you can't really see it too well because it's actually a bit darker than the ores you would normally see in the overworld. Um so yeah, I'm gonna head back home over in that direction. And well, when we get back there, I'm going to be getting on with some, trying to collect up some liquid. Uh, that kind of gives you an idea what I'm going to do. And store it for producing power uh, for my base. Because relying on steam is, well, coal is okay, but it, it's quite um, not as efficient as some of the liquids you can get in the overworld. So I'll head back there and we will see you in a bit. Right, so all nice and back home. I've put the stuff away, um, and now we're going to get on with getting sorted with our pump, because uh, we're going to need that as well, but there's a few things I need first. One is I need plenty of sand. Now, I don't have much at the moment, so I'm going to have to make myself a nice uh, shovel. So let's do that. Actually, I'm going to probably need a couple of shovels, just oh, spades. Um, uh, for now, so grab a piece of iron. Right, should be okay. Put you up there, and there we go. And then I need to go out and just get a whole load of sand, really, and probably some clay while I'm at it. But I'm going to sleep first because it's dark outside, and I don't want to get attacked by 
Well, I probably still will anyway, but yeah, just try and limit the chance of that happening. Now, there is some sand over here I can actually use. Let's get out of this damn whirlpool. Um, so we're going to have a head over this way. Now, uh, there's a creeper. Lovely. Go away. You're not wanted. Yep, go away, you. Um, I was going to use the oil, but at the moment, oil is kind of a bit of a expensive route for now, because you need a lot of diamonds, um, and oil on its own is not very efficient when you come down to um, processing it. You know, you got to refine it, and the refineries cost a lot of diamonds and a lot of energy, so I'm going to actually stick with lava for now, just to be able to get that nice decent amount of power, and we've just got a volcano over there we can actually use, which is quite useful. Um, very convenient. So which is nice, just going to dig out all this sand, and uh, then we'll have plenty more than enough of it. I'll probably just fill it in with dirt after when I'm done with it. But for now, we're just going to... Well, I'm just going to get all this sand. And I will start cooking up into glass, and then we'll go from there. Right, well, waiting for the stack and a half of uh, sand to cook up. I'm just going to leave a bit extra for spare for now. Let's just chuck on. Why are you going to be getting plenty of sand already? You know what? I can just cook up another stack. Why not? Uh, seems like I'd already had tons of sand and I didn't realise. Um, yeah, that would be a waste of effort. So we need a few things. Uh, we need a pump, which uh, you can get here, which is a tank, which is a glass fort and a mining well. The mining well is some iron, uh, an iron pick, iron gear and redstone. So we can just get some of that. Let's grab some iron. We've got plenty of iron now. Uh, some wood. Some cobblestone, some redstone. Uh, that's one thing I will be running out of, though. So, gears. We only need one, so it's quite simple. Stick, boom. Stone, boom. Uh, iron gear, boom. Then we need a pick, like so. Yep. Pick at the bottom. Iron gear in the middle. Redstone at the top, and iron on either side. And that gets us our mining well. Now, mining well uh, digs a hole straight down. You just find it powering a digger, a vertical hole all the way down. Um, so, yeah, it's just like a, you can dig like a one by one mining shaft. It'll dig all the way down to the bottom, uh, spew out all the stuff, and. But I don't really see much use for it. So, that's not one we're needing, needing it for. Um, and then we need some glass. And then we've put a glass in a chest kind of shape. So you just replace the wood with glass, you get a tank, put the tank on top with the mining well, and you get a pump. So here we go. Sweet. So what you can use this pump for is to just get um, pump liquids out. So you can get, you got your oil, you got your water, and you've got your um, lava, or any kind of liquid. You can actually use it to pump, uh, which is great. Uh, how's the glass going? Ah, there we go. We've got more than enough now. Now. One thing we need is invar blend. Now this I, this is the uh, material I didn't know how to use before um, because the invar blend isn't working. But if you look at invar dust, all you need is some um, pulverized iron and some either nickel or ferrous metal, and then that gets you your well what you need. Now we've got some nickel here and we've got some iron here. So you need double the amount of iron to compare to that, so all I need is 60 of this, like so, and that should get us plenty of dust. But what I'm going to do is just disable this bottom point here, just for the fact that I don't want it dumping any excess material um, into the powered furnace straight away. I want it to actually store it, so we're just going to put the nickel in here, it's going to power it all the way, and then once it's done with that, it's going to use the iron and pulverize that down, and then we combine the two. Oh, actually, no, we're going to need 60 for that, aren't we? Silly me. My maths is completely all over the place. You need two iron dust for each um, ferrous. And that should get us iron var blend. And I'm going to make just enough so I don't have to worry about it. Um, and then the only thing you need to do is smelt that in var blend into a pull, um, any kind of way to smelt it. Furnace, you get your powered furnace, you get your electric furnace, any kind of furnace, and you can get your in blend. And then we're going to use it towards making our magmatic engines. Uh, these now require uh, in var blend. So that's what I kind of struggled with at first. So we're just going to have to wait for the um, glass 
and all that to work. Now, at the moment, I only need the one, so I'm just going to make a piston slightly. And we have, oh, yeah, we have all the materials we need. Yay. So, cobblestone, wood at the top, redstone, there we go. Piston. So, we can use that piston a bit later. Put you there. Um, what else do we need for it? Redstone for a mission coil. Uh, that's some silver. So, stick you and you. And that gets us our transmission coil. There we go. And then we need two um, gears, which is just basically some iron surrounded by some invar. So we can't do that just yet. So we get the invar blend. But this is all cooking up now, so this is great. Um, and then we're going to need plenty of tanks. This is where the glass comes in handy. Uh, we've got 64. So simple enough. Let's put it all in here. And we're going to make eight glass tanks. Now this we'll need more of this. What I'm going to do is store it up there for now. Um, and then we need something to power the the pump we to start with. Then again we need some more um, pipes to be honest. Um, wooden transport pipe. We're actually going to need some more. Let's see how our cactus is doing. Uh, it's okay. There's some of them grown up. So get rid of you. Give you. This is what you need the cactus for. You, you, you. There we go. So we've got seven. Now we just need to cut this up and turn it into waterproof. Sweet. So we've got to do that as well. Wow. We've got a lot to do today. So I'm just going to chuck it in there and grab some coal. Just one piece will do. There we go. Chuck it in. And then that gets our pipe in. Uh, we only need the one wooden pipe. And then we need some more cobblestone pipe. Uh, well, we don't have cobblestone already. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. There we go. And then that should give us a uh, stone in it. Ah, damn it. Oh, bugger. There's my stone. I need that one. Gimme. Derp. Derpy derp. There we go. So that gets turned to waterproof in. So two of them at the moment. Right, stick them in there. One of you, and then one of you, and there we go. So we just need a few more, and we should be almost ready. So this is almost cooked up. That's still pulverizing down, so when I've got all the materials ready, we'll continue with the crafting, and then we'll head over to the volcano over there. Ah, there we go. We've got the invar blend all cooking up. We've got a considerable amount of nice supply of them now. Uh, how many do I need? Eight, twelve. That should be enough now, actually. Thirteen. So, we need to make gears. Now, gears are quite simple to make in this kind of mod, uh, well, this kind of design. Just two of them instantly makes them. And then all we need to do is put these together like so. And we'll have our first magmatic engine. Sweet. There we go. Now we've got more or less everything we need um, to actually make this design. So, let's head over to the volcano and leave that to just cook up. I just remembered the, the invar blend that you, end, or invar dust, whichever you want to use, uh, you end up getting um, free, so, because you get back the amount of dust you put into it, so you get free lots of dust, because you put two iron and one uh, ferrous, uh, well, nickel, uh, you get back the amount you put in, so you end up getting um, a stack and a third of well, what you put in. So let's head up to the volcano, and then we can start putting this down and start pumping out lava. So, and the cool thing we're not too far from base. First thing we want to do is just surround this entire um, bottom bit here with like so. So then we've got no lava coming out. Second thing I want to do is just grab some of this lava. There we go. And then we can just get rid of the cobble again. Apart from this one here. And then what we can do is um, put one up higher and then attach the pump to the lava well. There we go. You can dismantle this, it's fine. Um, actually, no, we won't put that one there. The second thing we want to do is attach the magmatic engine. Boom. And then what we want on top of that is we want a lever. Now we can just put it down. Uh, we got one lever anyway. What am I doing? Put the lever at the bottom. Boom. So what we can do now is turn on the magmatic engine and let it power the pump. Now, the magma engine, um, the way it's going to work is 
we're going to try and put lava into this. So what I'm going to do is make a little loop. So the, if I actually put down, because um, I want basic lava that gets out of this to actually power the um, engine to actually keep pulling. So it's like renewing itself, um, and then any, any excess gets put into a tank. So put that at the top, and then to save some, um, you know, save some, you to do that. And it's going to automatically put lava into that engine first. Um, and then what we're going to do is have come over um, and then go into one massive tank. Now, this tank's going to be eight tall. This goes back, we've got eight tanks. So I'm hoping it's going to actually be able to reach the top. Might not be able to. We'll find out. Maybe it. Doesn't have to go into the top. Um, we'll do that. There we go. So now, if I fall down and get some damage, what's going to happen is you can actually the, the way tanks work, you don't have to actually pump into the top. But that's what I'm going to do. So when this tank starts getting lava into it, it's going to fill up, and then I'm going to what I'm going to do is have a second um, tank next to it, either this side, this side, or this side, and we should be able to get it. So what I need to do now is put lava into it. Uh, now, do I right click the bucket, I believe? Yeah, there we go. And, ooh, we actually want to change this to um, enable high, so it'll turn off when we're not using it. So what it's going to do, we can put lava into this. Um, ooh, so let's stack all those buckets together, like so. And then we can turn it on, and then what it's going to do is automatically pump out any lava. Go into the engine first. And then if it can't go into the engine, it's just going to go straight into the top and then go into here. And this is going to be cool because it's going to fill up completely full of lava. And then later down the line, we can use this uh, to power some engines. Now, for now, I'm just going to be storing it because uh, at the moment, I haven't got the well, the items I need to actually be able to do this properly. I will wanting to use redstone energy conduits, but at the moment, um, we don't have. I don't really have the enough redstone to be able to actually do it, so for now I'm just going to store the uh, magma engine here, so this is going to work away, um, it's going to produce, uh, it's going to go up to at least, you know, four Minecraft jewels per tick, it's got a lot of energy supply because it's actually not producing, <laughs> so we've got to wait for this to go all the way down and then get to a massive reservoir and then pump it all out, so it's actually stirring up a lot of energy quite quickly. Um, which is a bit of a shame that maybe it's too much power. Um, I might actually have to rethink over that one. Hmm. You know what? Break that one. And we'll just lose some of the liquid, but we'll do it that way. So this magma engine will run until. Um, so you can see at the moment it's built up quite a lot of energy. So. Because the only problem this is basically vertical one down. So it has to pump, go down, pump, go down, and by this point, this is still due to turning out loads of power. But we're starting to get there. Um, so I need to head back to base and get a couple of redstone engines, and I'm actually going to change the idea of that plan. So yeah, got my uh, redstone energy cells, or not energy cells, uh, redstone energy um, engines. Uh, so let's just get up there and put these on now. This is running a bit dark at the moment, so I, I could do with some torches, but I don't have any. So we're going to have to do this quickly. Uh, as you can see, this engine has actually uh, stopped working, and that's because uh, it overheated, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Now we're going to put these down, like so. Put down um, these here. Turn them on, and then these should start pumping out as well. So I'm going to actually have to, I've changed the idea, I'm going to replace the magma engine with these. I'm just going to let the magma run out because that's just a waste of four buckets. Um, but as you can see, it's, it's just turning out so much power so quickly, it's uh, not very viable. It's just going to keep overheating. So we're going to let the uh, redstone engines work to actually pump this out. So we've got three of them. And then we're going to replace this and then work on wait on that. So then we've got all this lava just ready and waiting. Now the, the way um, oil wells and volcanoes work is you have a vertical shaft of one, basically one block all the way down to a certain point and then you have a central reservoir and then it expands out into a massive like, I'd say circle, but it's like a Minecraft circle. 
uh, of a certain size liquid, depending on how big the um, in a volcano sense, how think it's how tall it is, um, and in a um, in lava sense, um, well, in the oil sense, it's how big the geyser is um, that shoots into the air. That's how it depends how big, uh, the, how much oil's in it. So if you like the one we saw, uh, we saw a massive, well, I saw a massive oil geyser uh, over in that direction, and that means that's going to be a massive supply of oil. Now I'm going to actually run because uh, I want to be actually away from this, and ho hopefully enough, it's in the chunk which is loaded, so it'll actually do it when I'm not near it, um, when I'm in base. So I'm going to head back, and then I'm going to check how much time we've got, and then we're going to go from there. Right, so it's got to a point where there isn't really enough time to start another project, um, for this episode anyway. Um, but um, next episode, uh, I'm going to be getting into how to um, get uh, what you call gates. Now, these are quite cool. You need um, a couple of things. Uh, you need what you call lasers, uh, which is this laser, and then you also need um, assembly table. Uh, if I can actually find it in here, uh, you need the you need the assembly table as the main co uh, way to craft stuff, and the lasers to actually use it to actually work towards making uh, those components. Now, that's going to be a episode on its own I believe because the, the way gates work is you can actually automatically switch off certain stuff um, like automatically switch off engines when an inventory gets full or you can make some really cool automated stuff with them but um, I actually need to build these but they are expensive I've got to say they are it costs uh, five diamonds to make uh, the assembly table and then it co also costs um, some more diamonds to make the and some obsidian as well to actually make the lasers and you need uh, the more you have the quicker the assembly table works um, so we'll get into that but that's gonna be for next episode so I hope you've liked this one we finally got bloody zombie we finally got um, pumping out some lava and we've done a bit of exploring around the never and hopefully uh, we've in a, a few episodes we should be able to actually um, get down and use that lava to produce a lot more power for you know the rest of this area because at the moment these steam engines are adequate but they don't provide more than enough than what we need so I am looking forward to when we finally be able to so as always rate subscribe comment you know whichever if you feel just leave you know feedbacks always great and until then guys I'll catch you later so bye